Think about your favorite Thanksgiving movie. I'll wait. You can't think of one, can you? I just watched probably one of the best Thanksgiving movies that absolutely nobody's talking about. And by the end of the video, you're going to want to watch it. If you think it's the new Eli Roth movie called Thanksgiving, then this is for you. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what happened at the first Thanksgiving? Or what would happen if a turkey lived through the massacre that took place on Thanksgiving? Do you think Christopher Columbus did all the killing or was it really a homicidal turkey? Well, this movie will answer all of your questions. This movie has romance, comedy, nudity, horror, sci-fi. It checks off all the genres. This movie may sound stupid to some, but if you stick around, you'll know how fantastic of a movie this really is, and it shows that you don't need a huge budget to create a good story. The movie I'm talking about is Thanks Killing. Now this movie is definitely worthy of a good nut, let me tell you. Every 505 years, a demonic turkey comes back to hunt down and kill Caucasian people. Jordan Peele needs to remake this movie real quick. It starts off in 1621, moments after the first Thanksgiving. A turkey is chasing after a pilgrim and says, nice tip, bitch. right before slashing an axe to transition into the title screen. What a fucking intro. I know this movie looks bad already, but don't you want to know how there's a bisexual space worm in the sequel? Me too. Don't you dare fucking click off. The movie cuts to present day where a dog is peeing on an ancient totem pole that was bought on eBay, which prematurely awakens the turkey. I wish I was that totem pole. <clears throat> the turkey obviously isn't happy about this and shouts at the dog, which then leads the turkey to attack it. The owner finds his dog and the turkey says, The dog had an accident. What kind of accident you may be asking? Well, I took this here axe and I accidentally cut him. <laughs> now we have five stereotypes in a Jeep. We've got the jock, the nerd, the innocent girl, the slut, and Cartman. All going home for Thanksgiving break when suddenly their Jeep breaks down and they have to camp out for the night. The nerd tells the story we used to always hear when we were kids. You know, the one. It's where the necromancer puts a curse on a turkey to wake up every 505 years to kill every single white person that comes across. Ooh, I love that story. It still gives me goosebumps. The innocent girl goes into the woods to call her dad but starts freaking out about the evil turkey story. So she repeats, there's no such thing as an evil turkey. Turkey. There's no such thing as an evil turkey. There's no such thing as an evil turkey. Oh wait, I lied. <laughs> no one believes that she ran into the chicken, then a bunny flies into the campfire. Their dumbasses don't think much of it and fall asleep. The next morning the turkey is walking alongside a road and a guy pulls over and says that the turkey has a tight ass. Hey yo, what the fuck? What the? Yeah, that's right. Put that gun to his head. Give him what he fucking deserves. Who the fuck wants to fuck animals? Don't look up Mr. Haynes. The flock of Wonder Bread all end up back at their houses, but the turkey made it to the jock's house first and throws the dad's head at him like a game of hot potato. Yo, the turkey's smoking a fucking cigar. That's fucking... The jock leaves the house and you think he'd be sad about losing his parents, but he's just built different. No more pumpkin pie. No more cranberry sauce. He's built like a Kyle. He's built like a Chad. He is Giga Chad. He is the Kyle that punches through drywall. In the next scene, the jock's girlfriend is cheating on him with someone else. The turkey kills the guy and she thinks his blood is him finishing quickly on her back. That's totally not relatable. <laughs> I'm sorry! Consuela, guys do it all the fucking time! But the turkey takes over and stuffs her turkey, then does a chiropractic adjustment on her. The Fantastic Four go to her house where her boyfriend finds her dead. Doesn't even question that there's another naked guy there. The turkey goes to the innocent girl's house wearing a disguise, and her dad is in a turkey costume. They have a nice talk over coffee that was made from literal dookie. And right when the turkey is about to leave, her dad calls him a duck, and that was his final straw. The four go to the house and meet her dad at the door. You heard me. They met her dad at the door. They go to the garage to find the how-to book to stopping a turkey. But apparently the how-to book says that's just a really complicated math problem. The redneck sees the turkey dragging the dead dad around, so as a result, the turkey cancels himself. You kids are retarded. The turkey explains the reason why Jordan Peele really needs to remake this movie for a wider audience. The whites don't like this, so they tackle the turkey, but it gets away. After solving the math riddle, they find out that they have to treat the turkey like a Salem witch. They have to burn it and say a prayer. The fat guy goes for a walk to find some food, and damn, that looks like some good-ass turkey. Gobble, gobble, motherfucker. Now the turkey is hungry, so he tosses a salad. The three show up to the teepee, and they huddle up and say they need rope and a lighter, which the jock very coincidentally has in his pocket. You may see this as terrible writing, but I see it as one of the greatest twists in history. Nobody knew that he a rope or lighter in his pocket. What else is in there? I want to know. Is there chocolate? Is there me? I better be in there. I want to be in there. Let me climb up in there. They wrapped a small string around the turkey, and you know how I said that they have to treat it like a witch from Salem? Well, this movie has a modern twist on it. Thank God the turkey is dead. Now the movie's over. Unless the shot made the turkey fly into a barrel of toxic waste, but this movie wouldn't do that. I have made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment. I am so sorry for lying to my 353 subscriber audience. Want to know something fucked up? This dude says, I'm kind of glad all this happened. Both his parents, his girlfriend, and his friend died. Want to know why he's glad? I wouldn't have gotten this close to you.
What a fucking Chad. Every man should aspire to be like him. He is the new literally me character that every man is going to obsess over. So he asks her out right in front of the nerd and he just gets cucked. He gets up to get some food and wait, hold on. You watching the video right now. Do you think ass is hot? Well, that nerd has a pretty fucking hot ass. The turkey comes back and kills the nerd and meets his friend in heaven. The two punch the fuck out of that turkey and run to the shed where they light it on fire. But it's to be continued. You saw this coming unless you have TikTok brain and forgot what I said in the beginning of the video. Will they make a sequel? Yes. Will I make a video on it? I don't know. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my last video where I talk about cats. If you like cats, watch the video. If you don't like cats, watch the video. If you hate cats, watch the video. If you want to die, watch the video.